Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining human exchange services, including the lungs and the alveoli, and the small intestine and the villi. Now, firstly, what is an exchange surface? An exchange surface is an organ in the body that is, an adap that is adapted to allow materials to enter our bloodstream or leave our bloodstream. And they have some features. So they have very large surface area. This maximizes the space for this absorption and diffusion to occur. They have very thin walls. This is important because it reduces the distance for these materials to be exchanged. They have very good blood supply, which allows the materials to move into our blood and then be carried away to the rest of our body. And they are well ventilated in the case of the lungs and the alveoli. And this allows a fresh supply of oxygen in our lungs to allow it to move into our bloodstream. Okay? So there are a couple of examples we need today. First one is the alveoli. So alveoli are found in our lungs. And you may have heard the fact that if we unfolded all the alveoli in our lungs, it would cover the area of a tennis court, which means that has a very large surface area and it allows us to get oxygen into our bloodstream. So this diagram shows alveoli. They might draw them in an exam like this for you. They could also be in an exam they might show them covered in blood vessels. So these could be surrounded by blood vessels in an exam, so watch out for that. So these have these folds on them to increase the surface area. They have a very thin wall to allow oxygen to move. Okay, so what happens is when we breathe in, oxygen moves into our alveoli. So oxygen moves in and then that oxygen so this one drawing is a blood vessel surrounding it. What happens is oxygen will then diffuse into our bloodstream. So diffuse from the alveoli into the bloodstream and then be carried around the body for all of the body's functions. The key point is that it's just diffusion in the alveoli, so just diffusion of oxygen. Now what would also happen is carbon dioxide would diffuse from the blood into the alveoli and then be breathed out. Okay, so that's the example of alveoli. The other example you need to know is villi. So the villi are found in the small intestine and allow us to absorb the materials we need from digestion. So for example, amino acids. Uh, glucose. And fatty acid and glycerol. So, in the small intestine, we have these folds known as villi. So, imagine this part here would be the lumen, or the part, the part of the small intestine, and these folds are in the wall of the small intestine, and they're called villi. You can see these red tubes here represent blood vessels. And what we have is the materials in our gut, so for example, amino acids, glucose, and fatty acids, would move from the gut into our bloodstream and then be carried away to the body. So it can happen by diffusion, but it's also important you know that active transport happens in the gut, in the, in the uh, villi of the small intestine, to allow us to absorb all of those products of digestion into our bloodstream. This is important because we need them for our body's function. So for example, glucose, we absorb it into our body so we can use it in respiration for energy. Okay. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, please follow me on Twitter at Rushcliffe5. Thank you very much for watching.